What up, YouTube, man? I know it's been a long time since we posted, man. But we back with another video, man. Like I say, we've been handling business with the flatbed truck. And it's been going damn good, man. Uh, probably way more easier to book flatbed loads than the box truck loads. But, you know, we still love our box truck and we still gonna run our box truck. But, man, the flatbed is definitely something I'm encouraging y'all to get into, man. It's easier. Um, it's less fuel on the, uh, the dually trucks as well. You know what I'm saying? And it's and the brokers love flatbeds, man. So this load right here, we're going to go pick up. This is a uh, four four point four dollars a mile, and it's paying uh what is paying uh seven hundred dollars, and it's going to from Houston to Church, Texas. So it's like one hundred and sixty miles. This is a damn good load. Like I said, man. Uh, if y'all uh interested in growing y'all trucking company, I would recommend getting the flatbed, man. Flatbed has just been so easy. It's been so good. You don't have to do too much negotiation, uh, negotiating with these brokers, and they really just give you what you want, like easy, you know. So I'm gonna take y'all on the journey, man. We're going to pick up the load right now. Y'all stay tuned, man. Youngest box truck couple JD4E, man. We back with another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, All right, gang, man, so we pulling up to the uh, drop-off right now. Yeah, chasing behind them. So we pulling up to the drop-off right now, man. Like I say, this is a load. It is a tarp load, man. We hate tarp loads, man. Uh, but we do our best, you know what I'm saying, to tarp the load or whatever. You know, as long as it's covered, man. We out here, it ain't about to rain or nothing right now or nothing like that. But we still do our best with the tarp. And, of course, you know, uh, I don't know, it's just something I just can't get used to, that tarp and shit. But anyways, man, I'm pulling up next to the drop, uh, behind the driver right now. We're pulling into the shippers right now. They got us out here in, um, what is it, Rosenberry, Texas, which is just like probably like 20 minutes away from Houston or something like that. So we about to load up the flatbed right now, and I'm going to show y'all the load when it's uh, on the flatbed. As you see, man, we pull up to the shippers, man, we're about to get loaded right now.
motherfucking hot out here. Boy, I got out the shirt. Boy, I got out the shirt. Hey. What up, YouTube, man? So, look. I got Deja out here, man. As y'all see, it's hot as shit out here in Texas, man. It's like 100 degrees right I'm now. We in the field, y'all. We in the field <laughs> now, man. So, uh, so I just wanted to talk to y'all, man, about box trucks versus flatbeds. And like I say, we got our box truck. We still run our box truck with Amazon, but we did venture off to the flatbeds. And when I tell y'all, man, the flatbeds are uh, it's probably 70 70 percent more easier to book loads than a box truck this can this something that y'all can keep in mind man if you're trying to scale your uh trucking company i would say go with a flatbed for your next truck i wouldn't go get another box truck. i would go i would go to the flatbed or if you plan on getting a box truck get a second box truck make that third one make it a flatbed man get you a dually truck and get you a flatbed going man so i want to just talk to y'all me and deja just to tell y'all like the pros and cons i guess of the uh flatbed and a versus a box truck you know right so for one since i've been booking the loads for the flatbed i noticed that the negotiations are way more easier like for the box trucks you have to literally like plead with them to get you that at least two dollars a mile at least mm -hmm. three dollars a mile as far as with the with the flatbed it's like I can get three dollars, four dollars a mile with no problem. Easy. I can get five dollars a mile with no problem. Like easy, it's easy. so much easier booking loads with these flatbeds than it is with them box trucks. Right. So that's one pro. Um, the second one is well, yeah. The second one is as far as loading. I don't think it's as as hard as or it take as much time as when you have to load a box truck. I feel like with the flatbed, it's way more easier. You can just strap it up and you leave, unless you have a tarp. Yeah, now, tarp. I'm about to say tarping now. <laughs> with the flatbed is tarping. I noticed that even with people that's like been in the flatbed for a long time, they still out here. It makes it some 30 minutes or so hours to tarp this flatbed. Yeah, yeah. So that may be like one thing you have to get your skills up with. But other than that, um, other than that, overall, man, it's 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 it's, it's just better booking loads. I mean, yeah. the name of the game that's is. That's one thing I noticed for sure. Booking loads yeah. is no problem. At the all. name of the game is, man, you want to get the best rate per mile. Right. I mean, especially now because fuel is so high. Especially going that shorter distance too. Yeah, man. So going, you know, we able to get four dollars a mile, three dollars a mile, so easy with the flatbed. Five dollars a mile. I think we did. Fifteen dollars a mile with the flatbed as well, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it didn't pay no thousands of dollars, but it's still fifteen dollars a mile, and then we dropped that off, able to get something else, right. and you know what I'm saying, just keep uh, running the money up. So, the flatbeds, like I said, man, it's it's way more easier. It's not a lot of people that's just doing it like box trucks, you know what I'm saying? So these brokers, especially with tarping loads, they really looking for flatbeds people that people that's willing to tarp them loads and do everything like that right, you can they, really yeah, ask have what you want on there, you can literally get what yeah, you want yeah man you can get what you want you know what i'm saying so um still get the box trucks but if y'all plan on scaling y'all company man i say go with the i say go with a flatbed after that let's say i say i say get a flatbed if you're gonna scale your company i say if you're gonna go get another box truck cool but then after that get you a flatbed man it's just something new as far as with the authority you don't have to always go box truck box truck you can literally anything in transportation you can get on that authority so you don't right. have to be just um focus on one one uh source of transportation you can go flatbed you can go semi you can go box truck right so I, right. I would definitely say as far as the experience try them flatbeds out right 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 definitely definitely but yeah, man, so like I said, this load here, it was paying $4 a mile uh, from Houston to Shirts, Texas. It was an easy load. Uh, they did ask us to, you know, do some tarping, but that was cool. And then Monday, like I said, we already booked the load, man. Way over $2 a mile, and it's paying $1,300 from Houston to... Um, Midland. I think it was Midland. I don't know, but, you know, it's paying pretty good, too. So, <clears throat> like I said, man, flatbeds, man, it's definitely where it's at. <laughs> Flatbed is definitely where it's at, man. Like I say, and we still got our box trucks too. Box trucks, we killing the game too with the dispatching. We got a lot of trucks that we dispatch. Still yeah, a OTR. A lot of box trucks that we dispatch. Yeah, and still OTR. We still bringing these guys sixty two hundred dollars a week, five thousand dollars a week, fifty five hundred dollars a week. You know what I'm saying? We haven't hit the seven thousand, eight thousand yet, but we still we we're gonna get that this week. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my goal right there. But we still getting these carriers sixty two thousand, sixty two hundred dollars a week. So in a box truck, non CDL box truck. So 
if you still plan on getting your box trucks go ahead and get it bro don't worry about the fuel trust me it's just how you book these loads and how you Definitely. smart with booking these loads man so. Definitely. if as long as you got a good dispatcher or you know what you're doing as far as dispatching you don't have to worry about the fuel i mean yeah the fuel is costing right now but as long as those loads is paying it's not really a struggle with keeping that yeah. money in your pocket yeah 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 man so look jd game man we out man i know y'all missed us mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but we finna start posting i know i say this all the time but we finna start posting man so y'all stay tuned man y'all hit that like comment subscribe it is hot as hell out here it's in houston so right now bro man. like i know y'all can see it so <laughs> i'm really about to end this video right mm -hmm. now so man y'all stay cool man y'all stay cool man hit the like cons consultation still active man if you're trying to get your trucking company started if you got questions about the flatbeds maybe or the box trucks or whatever you got questions to buy man so y'all stay good man we out Jetty gang, we out already